My name is Lynn Griffin. I'm going to be doing a few videos covering wampum belts. The title would be the Cherokee Wampum Belts, and if you go to that site or those sites on YouTube, you'll see the selection. Uh, what you have here, what I'm showing here now, is a wampum belt. And wampum belts vary in size from six feet down to just a couple of feet and it is not d meant to be used as money the original thing of wampum was it told a story and it was also used for treaties in this one you see that there is a brave he's holding a tomahawk he has an eagle feather and it's a, a warrior the small portion right here is that he is singing this is an old Cherokee legend. The face here is the face of a bear. Then you have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clans. Now they only represent seven. As you can see, the seven of the clans are one design, and the eighth clan is another. The eighth was called the Yona clan or the bear clan where the brave sang the bear song so that if the people of the Cherokee Nation were hungry, the bears would come out and they could kill them and have them something to eat. And the last one is a Cherokee symbol, syllabary for Yona, which is, like I said, the bear. Now, beads can be made to make jewelry, a cross necklace, small identifying, a bracelet using magnets to hold it together, earrings, a necklace and bracelet, and a long cross. This larger one right here is called a biased weave collar. And if you look closely, this is a, called a Quahog shell from North Atlantic, and it makes the purple one. And you'll see the beads right here are purple. It takes about one day to make a bead in the old ways. And they had to be drilled underwater because the heat would crack it so easily. The other one is the welt, and it is white. The outside portion right here and right here is broken away till you just have the center column and it too is drilled from top to bottom. They'll go halfway in, turn around, and come the other half and make the beads. And they're very difficult to make. Like I said, it takes one day to make one bead. When the Europeans arrived, they had the technology to make them faster and at which time it started becoming money. And uh, some of the old sayings like, uh, how much for that bicycle? Well, I'll take six clams for it. And another one is, if you want a car from Ford, you're going to have to shell out about $30,000. And these terms came directly from the wampum beads. But like I said, initially it was just uh, a way to communicate from one tribe to another one. Once a year, the holy man would come out and in front of the village he would read the wampum belt. That way the children could learn the symbols of the wampum belt so that they too knew the story and they could relay it on. If a message was being sent from one tribe to another tribe, the person would carry a wampum belt. And this was a free pass through any, any Indian territory. So they have a safe passage because it was a message from one chief to a second chief. And I'm going to show you how to make uh, the supplies that you'll need to get, how to make a loom, how to set up a loom, and a procedure for making different types of wampum belts. Here are the supplies that you will need if you're going to do wampum belts. First, there's the wampum beads. Now, there's two types, and you have the plastic ones. And if you'll notice, they're all one color, one shape. I use uh, called a 4x10 
four millimeters wide, ten millimeters long. The white ones here also are a plain color. Now if you can compare the dark one where it's one color and shiny to the more natural ones, you can see the variation of the colors, the variegated. Same thing for the white ones. You see it's white, one color. Then go with the other ones. Uh, actual wampum bead would cost about eight dollars a piece. And these are bulk, they're artificial, and they still make excellent belts and jewelry. You'll need a pair of very sharp scissors. Because you're going to be cutting things very close and you need to be accurate with it. You'll need a cigarette lighter. I use 3 sixteenths rawhide. One side is rough, one side is shiny. And that's laid out in a specific manner. You'll need some needles. This is a 5 inch. They use it for stuffed dolls. You'll also need a smaller needle used to make corrections and pull the sinew through. This website here is a virtual website. You can go in, make any design that you wish, and you can print it. It, it is limited on how many designs you can put on one piece. The next is a free download of graph paper. It's 4 millimeter by 10 millimeter graph paper. If you go to the site, go to the brick portion, that looks like bricks are stacked, then you move to that portion and you type in 4 millimeter by 10 millimeter and you can print them off and they're free. You will also need some sinew. I use artificial sinew because it's a whole lot cheaper and easier to deal with. And it's supposed to represent the sinew from a deer. And if you'll notice it comes out, comes over, and what you do, you split it into four pieces. So you're going from one size to four little sizes. Next I will show you how to make a loom and set it up, then how to set the rawhide and begin beading. These are some, the, the loom I'm using now I uh, use to make these small jewelry pieces. They're two, three, and four strands. So this is the loom I've made. It's a small loom. It's about two feet long. What The first thing you do, it's a one by six, which means it's three quarter of an inch thick and five and a half inches wide. And that's just how they do it. It's, the finished portion of a one by six. The top piece here, as you can see, has grooves cut in it. You take one of your wampum beads, lay it on top, and you cut a groove on each side of it. Move it down and cut in the groove. Keep cutting them until you get the number of slots that you want. This one being small, I only wanted four slots. And then, Walmart has these tighteners and they're in the camping supply. They're used to tighten uh, strings on a backpack and sometimes you find them on a water bottle. Very simple to use. You push the plunger down, insert the leather, and it locks it in place. What I did, I took some angle pieces, braces, put one on each side, then I put a cord, a parachute cord, between them. And I put a tightener also on it so I can adjust this. I took a piece of sinew from my spool and I tied four of them because I was maximum all I would use is four. 
blocks are all set down with shelf brackets down here at the other end shelf brackets also and the same duplication of the tighteners on the end how I do it is you take one of the tighteners right here you insert it short distance and you see that it comes over way too far so you adjust the longer cord until only the leather can come over in this case only the leather is coming over then you move it all the way down to the other end Take it, insert it in, and tighten it all the way. Put it into the slot. Make sure everything is tight. And you pull on it just to tighten it up so that you can see that the piece of leather, which is 3 16 is tight. What will happen while you're working on your piece that the leather will actually start to stretch a little bit and start to sag down and it makes it very difficult when you're trying to do wampum beats so all you do is take it squeeze it try to squeeze it and tighten it up so that all strengths and depending on the loom you might have just three or two pieces of leather and you may have as many as eight and it's really difficult to keep them all straight unless you use something of this nature that you can tighten them up individually in our next video and the cost of this will probably run you six dollars at the most you have your brackets you have your wood and the saw blade you can use a hacksaw blade I use a special masonry bit for a hacksaw and you can get that at Ace Hardware. And it's round and it works perfect for cutting these grooves just for the leather. It keeps them separated the exact distance of the wampum bead. So the next portion I'll show you how to, after I put it all together, how to start doing the actual beading.